hello friends and greetings for the day welcome back to another tutorial on or i can say the very first tutorial of technical test analyst exam preparation as a part of very first tutorial we are actually getting started with chapter one and uh, the chapter one is about the tta that is technical test analyst task in risk-based testing so it's really important for us to understand what exactly is the roles and responsibility of technical test analyst in risk-based testing. So to understand that, we'll be covering just two simple topics here in this entire chapter. One is to just quickly introduce and then talk about risk-based testing task. To start with, we are actually getting introduction to what is risk-based testing. And of course, just to give you a heads up, Risk-based testing is basically to analyze risk areas in your project and product and considering them and covering them or probably mitigating them during the exercises or activities which you perform throughout your project life cycle. So generally, it is responsibility of the test manager to take care of uh, establishing and managing a risk-based testing strategy and test manager in turn re request the test analyst as well as the technical test analyst to contribute to this implementation from their own perspective where test analyst is more of a functional driven person and technical test analyst is a non-functional driven person and uh, lead so these people basically contribute from both the perspective respectively that is from the functional and non-functional end and support the test manager to make the risk-based testing analysis more efficient and also address other way around that how these things can be actually mitigated while we perform the testing for the project. So it's really important also to understand that what exactly risk-based testing is. Um, you we have discussed that as a part of test analysis because more on the functional side we do have the entire process in detail but yes again from the role of the test analyst so there is a card on the top if you want to quickly refer some more details about functional side you can click on that card and get uh, to the tutorial and understand more about it and you can come back here again but yes just to quickly recall uh, risk-based testing uh, is going to have four different stages. One is risk identification, risk assessment, risk mitigation, and risk management. No wonder you don't see the fourth option here or the fourth stage because it's complete the responsibility of the test manager. So it will be discussed in the test manager certification. Whereas technical test analyst and test analyst do not do the fourth stage. Now to talk about the risk identification, it is mainly to identify the risk areas. Now when you do risk analysis, the very first stage is to identify the risk. There are several ways by which you can actually identify the risk areas which are related to project or product. This can be done either by conducting expert interviews, brainstorming with co-workers, or analyzing the current and past experiences to determine the likelihood and you know kind of areas where the risk can lie. And these are some of the typical ways by which the risk can actually be identified and further require an assessment to see what is the impact of that and what is the likelihood. That means the frequency of that to happen. So yes, the very first thing where risk identification happens, you try to identify the risk and uh, the technical test analyst responsibility here will be to contribute in terms of the quality characteristics and address that what kind of risk are actually related to the non-functional parameters of an application or from the project specificness as well. For example, project efficiency could be one of the things like inability to achieve required response time under high load conditions, similarly security, reliability, and many other things which actually comes under non-functional testing. The second part of it is risk assessment. So team, when you are done identifying and listing down the various risk areas, you start assessing them or analyzing deeper each one of them which you have just listed. Now what do you do basically as a part of assessment? You basically try to address what kind of impact 
or categorize each risk with determining the likelihood and impact associated with it. Now, when you say impact, it is the severity that if this risk happens, what will be the outcome of that? And likelihood is basically to address that how frequently this option will be used and what is the probability of this event to happen. So yes, we assess each identified risk on these two parameters to determine the level of risk. Now, it is very important for technical test analysts to contribute in terms of finding and understanding the potential technical product risk and project risk and coordinate with the test analyst in terms of determining the same from the potential business impact of the problem if it occurs. Further to clarify, we do have categorized some of the examples for you that what is a project risk and what is a product risk from the technical test analyst per perspective. So if you look at the project risk, which can be you know, listed here on the left side, Conflict between stakeholders. So remember team uh, from the foundation you have already learned about project risk which is related to the life cycle of the project. That means the STLC completely and any activity or people related factor internally is called as project risk. Whereas product risk is completely related to the product which you are making. So project risk examples here are conflict between stakeholders regarding technical requirements, communication problems resulting from the geographical distribution of the development organization. What if your team is distributed in different countries and you may have a time schedule gap? Tools and technology, time, resources, and management pressure, lack of earlier quality assurance like you know static testing being not conducted and a lot of such things. High change rates of technical requirement your requirements are frequently changing and specifically the technical ones may have a contradiction with a lot of integration parameters so yeah these are a lot of such things which actually contribute to your project risk but on the other side we do have product risk as well that is complexity of the technology complexity of the code structure amount of reuse compared to new code large number of defects found relating to technical quality characteristics and technical interface and integration issues. So yes, these kind of things are actually more important for a technical test analyst to consider while assessing a particular risk and see that how this particular risk will be associated to address during the executions of the activities for the project risk and when you test it using the product risk. Last but not the least, of course, the risk mitigation is really important that now you have identified a risk and assessed the level of uh, risk by determining the impact and likelihood. So how are you going to mitigate it? It's equally important for the management or test analyst and technical test analyst to prepare a plan or activities to address these risk areas. Generally, the mitigation is done by creating different number of test cases according to their severity or I can say level of risk determined and then try to execute those test cases to make sure that this risk is not happening when it actually comes to executions. And that's how you address a risk and call it as risk mitigation. So during the project, a technical test analyst must influence how testing responds to these identified and assessed risks. It is generally done by reducing risk by executing the most important test cases and by putting into action appropriate mitigation and contingency plan. Evaluating risk based on additional information gathered as project unfolds and using that information to implement mitigation measures aimed to decrease the likelihood or avoiding the impact of those risks. Additionally, the technical test analyst will often cooperate with specialists in areas such as security and performance to define risk mitigation measures and elements of organizational test strategy. So putting it all together, that's the most important part of a contribution of technical test analyst towards risk-based testing when applied within a particular project. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding the context. We'll be getting back to you with another tutorial soon. And that's all from the chapter one. 
we will be actually getting back to you with sample questions of chapter one so stay tuned for that so that's all from here then thanks for watching the video team and happy learning